thought I'd do a video on Planaria. Planaria in Australia. Um, I had to redo this tank over because I had um, infected driftwood that was killing all my shrimp. So I had to basically clear this tank out, clean it up. Um, before that happened, I noticed that I had these little leech type things in my aquarium. And because there's no fish in here, so you get little bugs from time to time. I mean, see these things? I don't even know what they are. I did look them up. I think they start with L, but yeah, I mean, I get these things all the time too. I don't even know what they are. They don't do, seem to do anything except sit on the glass. Aquarium was sort of doing the same thing. I turned tank lights on. I'd see these little wormy kind of things, you know, slithering, sliding, whatever they do on the glass. I didn't think much of it. Um, I didn't notice any loss in numbers of my shrimp. I didn't see any dead shrimp. So, and I had coolies in there at the time as well with my shrimp, so maybe they were snacking on a couple because apparently when they already take off. Well, I didn't know what they were. So all the thing that I, you know, all the plants and that that I had in this tank, when I had to rescape it and redo it, I put them out into my outside pond and various other tanks I had outside. Unknown to me that I had planaria, all those tanks got infected with planaria, and most of those tanks outside were shrimp tanks also. So now I don't have just one tank with planaria. I have the pond. I had like three or four other tanks and I had these wormy things. So I actually had to do some research to find out what the hell they were. And then I did some research and a lot of people say, oh, they're bad for shrimp. Oh, they'll kill your shrimp. They'll do this, they'll do that. I can't say I've ever seen any planaria kill a live shrimp. But I did have a dead shrimp in a tank and he'd... Um, turn you know that that prawning color that they do the orange color with the keratin so he might have already been dead before the planaria and it was only one but he was a big planaria probably one of the biggest I've ever seen um that was on him but they do that they'll go for meat they'll go for anything that's why you can use those planaria traps and apparently they're quite good but they will never clear your tank of planaria just like you could put a fish I could put a fish in this tank and it will not clear an area. Might get them, might keep the numbers down, but it will not rid the problem. And then I did a lot of other research and people are saying, oh, use dog worm and use this dog I'm not using chemicals. The best way that I've managed to uh, keep the numbers down, I still get them, I still see them, um, because they lay eggs and they have winter eggs and summer eggs and all this other silly business. I just manually remove them. Every time I see them in the glass, I get them out. I have these fine mesh. Um, here's one here. Very fine mesh. And all I do is if I see it on the glass, I'll just try and scrape it up to the top. Well, they're really good at hitchhiking, so basically if you can get a grip of it, you can um, just pull it up and it'll hang off whatever, you know, it'll just hitchhike basically. So you can just bring them up, but sometimes, you know, you can be a pain in the ass, catch them, sometimes they'll, they'll jump off. <laughs> so you have to, hence why you use a really fine net, because then you can catch them like that. Um, I have got the numbers down, but I'm still finding them in tanks from time to time. And the other issue is with planaria, they only come out at night. So you can have fish in your tank and they will not clear or rid the tank of planaria. But I must admit one thing, I have the three foot behind me. I put infected things in here all the time because I know there's fish in here. And there's lots of fish in here. And I think I've only ever seen one planaria. And he was only little. Yeah, I have coolie loaches in here too, which actually hunt at night. Um, my cribs, they also seem to be around at night time too, but for the, mo for the most part, I think coolies would probably eat them. Um, 
that would be your best bet if you